words. But anyway, interesting would be for this video if you could teach me some Russian. And that's the actually, by the way, very important thing because when people say that there's a lift political problems and maybe cultural between cultures problems, usually it's the problem when two sides don't understand each other. And you said already that the, uh, the language is the key to understanding the culture. So we will make the first step on this uh, video of uh, and uh, global and a global travel will teach me the uh, certified Russian language uh, teacher will teach me Russian. What about what would you teach a foreigner coming to Russia if you had only just a little few minutes? Like let's say a few. What would be a couple of things that you would teach a foreigner coming to Russia? It's no, not a language, just a short. Short I, will, I will teach uh, and also I start my classes from greetings mm -hmm. because it's first, I mean, if you're zero level and uh, of course, first what you need is greetings because we use greetings everywhere when you come yeah. to Russia and you must uh, say also uh, like we know greetings uh, like in, like I can say, guten Morgen, guten Morgen. Mm -hmm. Buongiorno in all kind of languages we uh, I mean India namaste to say uh, hello and I will teach you if you want a greetings yeah what but there's a differences right so what's the difference saying hello to in official capacity or to your friend for example Yes, yes. So first, what you need to know that um, how we say hi, uh, we say hi in um, three ways. Uh, first way, it's very easy. We start from this. Uh, you will say привет. 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 Uh, very easy, but uh, you can say it only for your friends. Yes. Привет. It will be... Um, uh, situation uh, some informal also we say to kids of course prevent mm -hmm. uh, but uh, for other situations never say prevent like in a uh, western <laughs> culture at it's the border okay control to, yeah in, in western country it's okay to say hi no no in russia yes. no no we, we like oh, very old uh, style traditional forward traditional and, very uh, traditional yeah. yes and uh, it's better to say not say prevent uh, and say second uh, and third uh, option. Second option, uh, I, I recommend to my uh, students because it's more easy to pronounce that last option. I will tell you last option. Mm -hmm. Second option, you need to say good afternoon. It's easy to pronounce. You just say the word dobry. Mm -hmm. day. Dobry means uh, like good day, day. And uh, I suggest you to learn two uh, words. You can learn привет for your friends and добрый день. Добрый день, it's, um, you can use it, of course, uh, if you remember how to say good morning and good evening will, will be good. But if you forget, you can always say добрый день. It's like business word. For example, if I uh, write business email, I always write Dobry Dane also if I do it in evening time because mm -hmm. in business language means that Dobry Dane means working day. Mm -hmm. Because also if I write the person in night. I didn't know that, yeah. Yes, yes, it's also very interesting. That's why very important if you have any business communication, always use Dobry Dane. It will be more professional than to say uh, good morning, uh, Dobre Utra. Yeah. Or if you say Dobry Vecher, good evening. I can repeat, morning, доброе утро, добрый день, добрый день, <laughs> <laughs> my, wife, my wife is wondering why I'm saying, добрый день, доброе утро, и добрый вечер, добрый вечер, yes, yes but, but, uh, mm -hmm. but one thing when you go out, if it's like late night, my wife said that, I, I used to say it because in Finnish you can say like good night, Mm -hmm. But uh, she said that you you shouldn't say so because it's like very personal in some ways. So if you get off, if like in a formal way, if it's like yes, somebody, yes. you don't say good night because it's meaning like uh, you. It's too personal. You're going to sleep. Yes, yes, correct. Too uh, to personal. Also, that's why I said in. Ah, dobre noć. Spokojne noć. Eh, spokojne noć. Yeah, you don't say that. Spa da, because spokojne um, noči in English it will be sweet dreams. Ah, okay. It's not good night. Spokojne noči it's sweet dreams and normally we say it to people whom we love. To my yeah, wife, yeah, to exactly, husband. Yeah. 
sweet dreams. And um, that's why I said Dobry Day, because uh, actually also morning and evening, it's also personal, but normally morning we yeah. meet with our family and evenings we spend with our family. And yeah. they we spend in, spend in business. That's why it's more professional to say Dobry Day. Isn't it so? I would add and ask one thing. I always say Zdrastvujte. Like hello yes, it's in the last, formal. It's ah. last option. Yes, I wanted to say, but I teach it in the end because for first time uh, it's hard to pronounce. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. Zdr, zdr, but this sounds zdr, zdr, hard. Yeah. It's like it's in Russian. It's a, it's like, a mouthful, psh. yes. And that's why I suggest for all people who is coming to Russia, mm -hmm. first, and if it's hard to say Zdrastvuti, no need to stay, uh, practice every day, you can say Dobry Day, it's easy. If you and can say Zdrastvuti, okay, say Zdrastvuti. Mm -hmm. One thing is interesting in is if you say, let's say you're coming to Russia and you say to the passport lady, or, or a man that's uh, Privet. You can actually, no no, no. no, no, if you say so, watch her or his reaction because Russian like officials and of people who are working in the like official capacity usually don't understand that you are actually a foreigner. They don't put themselves in your shoes. So for them going to show you just reaction like, Izviniti, what do you mean, Privyati? I'm not sure. She will correct you and say, like, possibly, not necessarily, but uh, will, actually, don't, they I will don't. raise an eyebrow. Like, why? Because they don't understand that you are a foreigner and you don't, they don't understand you not understanding language. Isn't it so? Uh -huh. They will actually, like, uh, treat you like a Russian, like, no, Excuse I think no, actually I have actually I have never saw the situation when a Russian person will be um, upset if someone no, said No, no, not that. upset, not upset but maybe like uh, raise an eyebrow like uh, not ser nothing too serious but uh, all right uh, but uh, I, I, I would imagine uh, for me, very hard to say because I have never saw real examples. But for me, I always see foreigners. I also, if I communicate with foreigners, mm -hmm. like if I have a uh, boyfriend not Russian or uh, friends, I always uh, how to say give discount. I know yeah. how to say. This. I always don't. Uh, if, for example, my Russian boyfriend does something and foreigner totally I, I will give different punishment ah, <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> because russian man must know what yeah. he shouldn't do but if the foreigner does something i will not punish him because i know that he's from another country and i will not be um, upset about it it's it's still yeah. taking my wife uh, a lot of time to, uh, because I lived all my life elsewhere. I'm a Russian person, but I've lived elsewhere, so I have basically I'm very often a, a foreigner in in, yeah. in in some ways. So sometimes I say things, and I'm wondering why she's like uh, maybe maybe angry, Zlaya. <laughs> but uh, but uh, but uh, I don't understand why. And she doesn't understand that I actually didn't understand certain way words that you don't you cannot say certain ways because it means something maybe if even though I translate the word from like say Finnish in my head from Finnish to Russian it actually is not translatable and it the the uh, the words uh, meaning is totally different it mean it can yeah. be very rude for example I'm like I'm just saying that it's like I don't know I don't have an example though. And yeah. also, uh, if we speak about relationship, I also can teach that never use with Russian speaking uh, people the word dear. Dear will be in Russian language, uh, yeah. Daragoy or mm -hmm. Daragaya. Yes. Dear, dear. Because for Western culture, dear, it's just to say hi. It's normal. Yeah. I can say dear, but in Russia, uh, this, you will, it will be, um, how to say, it will be very rude because yeah. here we can say only for husband and wife, for people yeah. whom we love. I never yeah. say dear to my friend, I will never say that to my colleagues, never, only for my very close. Also, you know, sometimes, and sometimes uh, it will be very ex important advice because uh, some Russian girls, uh, maybe they don't listen this word from husband. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
some guy from internet is saying dear yeah, yeah so be careful don't say so it, it's i wanted to say about distance yes we russian people we are emotional but from one side but from second side we very keep it the distance mm -hmm. we don't uh, kiss each other like i know in western culture people kiss and in, in certain and countries in so, in certain no yeah we know and the also Italians, uh, Brits. Italians, yes, they say, oh, the, we, we don't, though, especially women, and we women don't uh, shake hands with men. Yeah, this is important. Very important. So, women never touch women. Yeah. <laughs> so, women stay very, very um, opposite. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, so don't, open. and we can actually go to the next part. How do you introduce yourself? If a man introduced, let's say, for, for a lady, we, we now <laughs> know you do not shake the hand but you introduce yourself how how a man introduce or a lady introduce herself in russian so you just say you can say like um uh dobry день or if you learn uh здравствуйте yeah and then you can uh introduce yourself you can say you mean how to say my name is for yeah i think so yeah yes you <laughs> can say my name basics. is yeah you can say my name is uh you will say uh minya minya Zavut. Zavut and the name later. Yes. Меня зовут Анна. Меня зовут Игорь. Игорь. It's so <laughs> it's weird to say when you know Russian, but but still it's important. Меня зовут Игорь, and then I ask the other person, как о о вас, and it's Avas. always on the U form, which is like the form. How about you? Yes, о вас. You Avas. can say that. Меня зовут Анна. А mm -hmm. вас. А вас, yeah. Or как вас зовут. О как вас зовут. Yeah. Yes. And that's the beginning of a uh, story. Then, and usually when you just know even just the beginning, it doesn't matter if you know, if you cannot continue after that in, in, in Russian, that's fine. This is much more effective when you say even здравствуйте or, or, or добрый день. It changes a whole different because if you come and you say hello or you you create a barrier, but if you know even a one word at the restaurant oh. or somewhere, the person will try and feel like well he he's trying or like of course important word is probably saying thank you as well. Спасибо. Спасибо. Yes, and also short thing which you can uh, learn and tell about yourself. Where are you from? Mm -hmm. And it's very easy to learn. You just need to learn "ya" means "I." Mm -hmm. Ya. Then you need to say preposition "is" mm -hmm. from, yeah. and then just say uh, the name of your country. Of course, uh, you can uh, open the dictionary and mm -hmm. check how your country we call in Russian. Most of con countries it's the same. Most the same, yeah. like Italy, Italia. Also, yeah. if you don't know Italia, you will say Italy. Just learn, yeah, is, and then... Yeah, then. is, yeah. Da. Great. Igor, Igor, where are you from? Yeah, is uh, Soviet Union. <laughs> Soviet Union. Uh, no, well, when we say I'm from, we say the country when we yeah, live. Yeah, I know. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I you just, need to say Finland. Yeah, it was, I, I don't, it was the thing that uh, I didn't want to say because I want to say St. Petersburg, but I can't say Russia because I'm not from Finland, uh, from Russia. But yeah, yeah is Finlandi e. But I can say, but yeah, but if I'm like a foreigner, I can say I'm from, yeah, is Finlandi, uh, Finlandia. You can say it in your own language. And yeah, that will be correct. So no one is expecting for you correct grammar. Yeah. Just the Lord, yeah, is, and then the name of your country. And this will open, maybe depend on the person, but this will open some reaction. If you say I'm from uh, America, and uh, the person will go, uh, meaning I'm from USA or America, and the person will, oh, America, good. You, you will have a reaction. But if you just say, I'm from America, and the guy is like, I don't speak English. But if you try just few, two words plus. Now, if you're from America, you can say, uh, yeah, is America. Yeah. Or also we use, uh, we call USA in Russian will be se, she, a. And you can say, yeah, se, is se, she, a. Se, yeah. she, a. Will Russian understand if you say USA? No. Or yeah, Russian will understand. Will? <laughs> but if you want to say Russian, yes, everyone knows USA. All right. 
So we had a. Th- this is the first step into a Russian culture, and you will. This will help a lot, and this is you can grow more and more, and you can actually use uh, Anna's uh, online courses. You have a link down in description. Anna is a great speaking, great personality, and a great teacher. Even I now know better Russian because I didn't know about this Dobre game, by the way, that you can use it. So there was real yeah. stuff, real stuff, new stuff for me, uh, whose uh, native language is Russian. So yes, yeah. I wanted to say, uh, continue about my course that mm-hmm. uh, I, uh, st- uh, when I started to make my course, I wanted uh, to create something um, special because. Um, I see, as I said, people who came to Russia, that, as I said, that for studying Russian language in university, you need one year. It's uh, mm-hmm. too much. Not everyone has an uh, opportunity to go to Russia, to stay here and to live one year. Uh, and uh, um, most of people, they need Russian uh, like just for maybe he wants to marry with Russian wife, maybe to open business and uh, so on. And I uh, decided uh, in my course, I I'm, I don't know, uh, but I hope I did some innovation because I started mm-hmm. to connect academic knowledge and speaking. Because mm-hmm. most of people, they when they study in university, unfortunately, it's really like this. In university, uh, the program is seventy uh, percent grammar and only thirty percent speaking. Why it like this? Because people prepare for passing exams. Mm-hmm. If you take some courses from internet, most of them opposite seventy percent only speaking and very less grammar. But I started to connect speaking and grammar and that uh, from my course you can get grammar it will be useful for people who want to study and also i give speaking what is more important because i don't the person from uh, it was old method when people only learn grammar i uh, teach speaking and also like in today uh introduction i try to give some tips something mm-hmm. special about culture that's why i think this course will be it will be big progress like just for one month uh you get 20 videos and also you don't uh, need to talk face to face free time Mm-hmm. And uh, you have 20 videos and during the day uh, you just need 10 minutes to watch the video and learn and then give you feedback feedback in a telegram group so this course is about it awesome so everything is, is on your behind this uh, link that it's in the description right for yes. your online course yes. or through your youtube video you, that you can you can subscribe to and you should subscribe to Watch also the video where I uh, visit uh, my guest appearance for uh, on Anna's channel. Uh, I don't know what stuff we are talking about there, but uh, maybe something, definitely something new about me and maybe something new about the Russian culture. Let's see what kind of stuff uh, is in there. So check it out, uh, Anna's channel, and uh, subscribe to this channel as well. Anna, thanks a lot for being uh, such a great uh, guest on the channel. Igorians, uh, the members of Igor in Russia, thank you and everybody subscribe who watch this. See you in uh, on YouTube world and in Russia. Yeah, so Bye-bye. guys, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, you can write uh, in comments uh, all your questions, so I will check and I can answer, or maybe Igor will answer if he knows. We'll both answer. Yeah, maybe who knows? Maybe if we find uh, in the comments some interesting topic, we can uh, make a new collaboration. If it will be very yeah. hard touching, <laughs> something. Or maybe do exper- experimental uh, uh, online course uh, language learning with you. Yeah, me as a test person. Yeah. Uh, also, if you want, we can do something like this. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. See you again. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.